Oh, hi. Thanks for watching my video. So I thought today we would just do a little bit of a, a one-off Let's Play. Following the life of my Sim here, this is Mariah. She lives in Willow Creek. She's got a cute little house. She's got two kids at home, although they need to get up because they've got school soon. Avery, out of bed. Yeah, she's got a boy and a girl. She's got a daughter called Avery and a son called Dylan. Looks like they're all hungry and all they have to eat is fruitcake. Mariah works as a hairdresser. She's got an active career. So I'm using the um, cosmetic mod by It's Katato. It basically allows me to work as an active hairdresser. So we're basically going to be following this family for a working week, Monday to Friday, while poor little Mariah here juggles working as a full-time hairdresser. Some days we'll be in the salon, some days we'll be driving to clients' houses, whilst also juggling family life and trying to manage her kids and her dog. Oh, Avery's feeding herself, that's good. They're all uncomfortable because none of them like fruitcake. I guess it must run in the family. We also have a dog here, Buzz. Buzz seems to be doing just fine. Oh, that came out quick. Okay, well, I guess we will join Mariah for her shift at the salon. We don't have that much money. We've got about 350 simoleons, so, you know, we're not exactly struggling, but we do what we can to get by. So you'll notice we're only actually going to be working in the salon Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. For the other two days, I'm just going to have her work as like a mobile hairdresser. I've got the SimNation travel mod installed, so I've got my car. She's got a driving license. So for Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to be driving around to clients' houses and giving them makeovers. So it looks like my requirements for a promotion is to get level 2 cosmetology and attend an active day. Oh, I have to do two days before I get a promotion. Ah, Glad to see you working hard there, Mariah. So she's basically a single parent. I mean, she's not completely a single parent. She does have a partner. The kids do have a dad who's sort of in the picture. Oh, look at that. We just made 200 simoleons. We just made 100 simoleons from styling that look. But he's away a lot. He's like, I don't know. Let's say he just works in the army or something. So Mariah's pretty much holding down the fort as a single parent. And she's also unknowingly pregnant. Yep, her partner stopped by in the middle of his deployment for just enough time to knock her up. So she is now expecting her third child. So I wonder how that will impact our work-life balance. It looks like she's just kind of getting on with it. She's not really needing much direction from me. I have another stylist here, so I should probably greet a few of my co-workers just to tick that one off. I have to style 10 clients' hair How long? until 3 p.m. Okay, that's kind of doable. If you're wondering where I got this lot from, by the way, it was just on the gallery. This is the one I'm using, I believe. Yes, this is the salon I'm using. It didn't come with the mod, however, so I've literally, I had to delete a few of the chairs and replace them with styling stations. Also, does this lot not have a bathroom? Because my sim kind of has to go. Oh, shit. Looks like you might just have to hold it, Mariah. There's a styling chair here. I could maybe, oh, can't tend that one. Well, I can't seem to be able to actively get clients to agree to let me do their hair. So it seems a little bit beyond my control, but you've got until 3 p.m., Mariah, so... I guess you should probably start approaching people. If I had the skills to be a hairdresser, I totally would. Oh, okay, perfect. I can just click on the customer and offer them a makeover. Yeah, if I had the skills to be a hairdresser, I totally would. The amount of gossip you'd get become like an oracle of knowledge. And you could really start some shit between people as well. You could do one client's hair and then go to another and be like, oh, well, you know, I did Christine's hair the other day. You should have heard the shit she was chatting about you. Oh, Marcus Flex, I barely recognised you with that makeover. It's really given you a new lease of life. You look so young, man. Is this another stylist or... Yeah, okay, not a customer. And you look even younger now, Marcus Flex. Right, I'm just going to try and style as many sims as I can before Mariah starts kicking off about really needing to take a shit. If you do your ten clients before three o'clock, Mariah, you can finish early. So, you know, look at it that way. So if I have to do 10 clients a day, that means I'm pretty much guaranteed a thousand simoleons a day if I fulfill my work obligation, if I fulfill my work tasks. Oh, for fuck's sake, she actually is gonna like piss her pants, isn't she? Do I have time to maybe just try and do a couple more? I'm not even halfway through and I might have to leave early. I don't think I can... Oh wait, what about if, um, is there a public toilet around here? Oh shit, I don't think there is. Oh, God damn it! You'd think they'd have them lying around, you know, in various nooks and crannies everywhere in the neighbourhood. Okay, I might just have to enable free build this shit. 
I can't have my sim shit her pants in front of all of her customers on her very first day. We just can't have that. Okay, use the bathroom. As soon as you finish this makeover. At least the toilet's here now, so we won't have this problem going forward. Oh, and just like that, she's happy. What's Travis want? I think Alice Martin is pretty good. I couldn't give a shit. I have enough on my plate. Two kids, third one on the way. Couldn't give less of a shit about your problems. Uh, offer hairstyle? We still have five more clients to do. I'm not really sure how the money is working here because I get paid 100 simoleons for every hairstyle I do. I started the day on about 300 and somehow I've acquired 1,200 simoleons. I wonder whether that's just by customers paying me before I even do their hair and then like walking out halfway, maybe? I don't know, but we're making bank. Right, I'm just gonna line up a few clients because I still have five more to do. I'll line up a few before these other greedy stylists try and take my customers. Oh, you look great. You look great, Nancy Landgrab. That's really given you an edge. Especially with those spectacles, you look amazing. She she doesn't look quite too happy about it though, does she? Who's this? Oh, this is still Anvi, that poor Sim. She's had like four makeovers already. I've seen her with four different hairstyles. You're gonna have a queue out the door, believe me. What's going on with that Sims? Is that Nancy Landgrab again? <laughs> oh man, Nancy Landgrab, oh. You're having a right, you're having a mare, aren't you? We'll do your hair, we'll do your hair next, all right? Don't worry, we don't want any unhappy customers. Oh, this is a good look for Bernice. We've covered all the greys, given her more of a younger look. Oh, how long have I got left? An hour. Oh, shit, man. I don't think I'm even going to do all of my clients in that time. Mariah's work day ends in an hour. Oh, no. I'm going to be just one client short. Oh, this is a disaster. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, let me just pause it for a second. Nancy's hair is back to normal. She's going to be happy about that. Do I have time to do one more client if I... Nancy's done. She doesn't need any extra chatting. Mariah, come on. Your job's on the line here. Just walk away, walk away. How long do we have? 20 minutes, oh, is that gonna be long enough? Maybe if I just ask him if he wants one, maybe that would just count as another client. Oh no, it hasn't counted. I think it's only gonna count when I actually do his hair. This is too painful to watch. I'm gonna have to speed this up. Oh no, Mariah did a terrible job today. Hopefully this, the salon's reputation doesn't suffer, doesn't suffer due to her negligence. Fucking hell, man. For one client off, nine out of ten. That was a terrible day. Oh, the kids are only doing satisfactory at school. Oh, Mariah. Right, I tell you what. Let's um, let's just serve dinner or serve lunch, I guess. We'll do some chicken sliders for the kids. We'll get everybody fed, and then I think we're gonna have to spend some time working on the kids with their homework. Oh no, you don't have counter space. Just stick these bottles of wine here. That's reserved for a hard day. Yeah, we can't have kids with only satisfactory grades. We're gonna have to get them to do their homework as well. Right, guys, grab a serving, grab your dinner, get fed, because we've got some homework to do tonight. Influence to do homework. And you, Dylan, influence to do homework. I need to fill that dog food bowl as well, I think. Buzz is probably getting a bit hungry. Stick those sliders in the fridge for breakfast. There we go, that saves me making scrambled egg and bacon. And then once we've refilled the dog bowl and told the kids to do their homework, then I think you deserve a nice relaxing bath, Mariah, because it has been a tough day on you. I can't believe you got a terrible perform. Oh, look at that, it's gone down even to average. Oh, I need to influence those kids to wash up as well. Right, take a, take a bubble bath. Oh wait, is um, oh Avery's doing the washing up. What a good kid. Not doing her homework though, is she? We're gonna end up with such responsible children. You enjoying your bath over there, Mariah? Yeah, I'll keep an eye on the kids, don't you worry. Okay, I think once we get out, we will help Dylan with his homework and then we've gotta get Avery to do hers because she's slacking off a little bit. Oh, I think the dog needs to pee. Right, we'll help the boy with his homework and then we'll get the girl on hers too. I don't know why you've got dressed into your outdoor clothes, Avery. You're not going out to play until you do your homework. Dylan's finished his homework. Okay, good. Avery, your turn. Dylan, you can go out and play if you like. In fact, you know what? We got... We made a lot of money today, although you wouldn't have thought it. Because we got bad performance, apparently. But I think we'll get the kids some bikes. Have fun outside, Dylan.
family oriented. Oh yeah, we will. We will be family oriented. Of course we will. Oh, you've made a self discovery. Lucky you. Avery, can you hurry up and finish your, your homework? Because I'm quite keen for you to go outside and play so that mummy can enjoy a nice glass of wine. You kids go outside, okay? Go outside and play and then I'm going to have my wine and watch my sex in the city. Mum doesn't like to be disturbed when she's watching her stories. Why did you just do that? I guess we're just going to drink straight out of the bottle, are we? No, be classy. Pour a serving. Is there some kind of glitch with this with this wine bottle? She can't seem to do it. Why? What if I put it over there? Okay, well, there's definitely a glitch with the wine bottles because they don't seem to work when you're pouring a glass. So I guess we're drinking straight from the bottle then, Mariah. Oh, she's... She just started yelling at Avery. I think it, <laughs> she's family oriented. She's got quite a high parenting skill as well. But I think, you know, once once mummy starts hitting the bottle, she get a little bit mean. Okay, Avery, why don't you take yourself outside? Practice riding a bike. In fact, I think she's got a loose tooth as well. She wobbled it this morning. So she might even lose her tooth. And then, of course, we've got to find the money to put under her fucking pillow, don't we? We do it all, don't we, Mariah? Elf on the shelf, tooth fairy. All of that shit. As long as the kids are happy. Needs are looking pretty good. Just need to take a shit. Maybe get some sleep. So you know what? I think I might just have you do that. How are the kids doing? So the boy needs a bathroom. Take a bath. And then he can go to bed. How about the girl? She's fine. She's just a bit tired. Oh, you know what? I might just... Before I send Mariah to sleep, I might just get her to spray both of these beds. And then go to bed. Okay, let's get everyone sleeping. Where's the dog? Where did the dog go? Oh, Buzz is sleeping in his bed. Oh, that's cute. Last night he slept on Avery's carpet. Avery lost her tooth. She can't... She can wait a while for a new tooth to appear or can elect to fix the missing tooth. Well, I don't think you should be dicking around with your teeth, Avery. I think you should just wait. But place your tooth under the pillow and then you might get a little surprise when you wake up. Oh, did she make some crafts? Oh, how cute. Right, Mariah, get up. You've got work in two hours, so let's see if we can quickly... Just serve something super quick. We'll do some pancakes. Oh, oh, we do have leftovers, though. So I probably don't need to make pancakes. But you know what? We go to work an hour before the kids go to school. So we'll just we'll make something and we'll leave it out. So that when they wake up, they can just help themselves. Is the dog okay? Yeah, I think so. Feeling a bit sick. Oh, dear. On the kitchen floor, Mariah. Couldn't have held it in. Go to the bathroom. Have we got time to shave quickly? What are you doing? Don't ride your bike in the house, you lunatic. What the f oh. I mean, it is very impressive how you're able to do that, Avery, but you're not allowed to ride your bike in the house. All right, let's go to the salon. Day two, this is our chance to redeem ourselves. My head is in the game today. We are going to do our 10 customers. I think these are all my fellow stylists. God, there are so many stylists, aren't there? So now we wait. We wait for the customers and I... I'm waiting outside, so I get the upper hand. Off a hairstyle. Get straight in there. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid to just step in front of the other stylist and step on their toes. It's every hairdresser for themselves in this game. Hey, Lily, how's it going? Still having those marriage problems? Yeah. Victor's still working all the hours under the sun? Oh, yeah, I bet. Doesn't leave much time for you two, does it? Passion's died out, isn't it, Lily? You can be honest with me. Not to worry, when I'm done with you, that passion will be reignited. And if not with Victor, then maybe start an affair. I want you to feel when you leave the salon like you can do anything. Oh, kids have gone to school, okay? That's good to know that they both made the bus. Hopefully we see an improvement in grades. Oh, I got my level two cosmetology. Hilary Laurent, we gotta do her hair. Moira Fires, obviously, she's gonna need a stylist as well. All of the stylists are all of the other stylists are fucked off. I wonder if they've gone on their lunch break or something. Oh no, they're back. Yeah, I think they probably did just go on their lunch break. Okay, we're only at 9am and already, I think this is my fifth customer, so I'm pretty sure I am smashing it today. Is this a stylist? Yeah, it's a stylist. We've got more stylists than we have customers right now. Back to Lily. There just aren't enough customers. Over here there are literally, there's one customer and all of these hairstylists. Does this like massively increase my, oh no, I thought maybe it massively increased my relationships with these people. Maybe that's why I'm getting a good reputation, but I guess not. Okay, so this is client number ace, I think. So I think today, not only are we going to meet our, our client target, I think we're also going to be able to finish early. Which would be great because I'm planning to have our sister come over. We're going to pop to the shop and grab some wine. We're going to have a good old fashioned movie night. Just have a cozy night in, I think. We've done, okay, so this could be customer number 10 now. 
Notable newcomer? I didn't know I could become famous just by being a hairdresser. Oh, hairdresser to the stars one day. All right, smashed it. So what happens if I end the day now? Ending the day early will result in a penalty. Oh, fuck's sake. Fine, I guess I'll just mooch around then. I'll just stick around and do nothing then until the end of my shift. Unbelievable. Okay, day finished. We actually earned our wage today. Is she even showing yet? She's not even showing, is she? Oh, okay. Just as I said that, I just got a pop-up. Mariah is pregnant. Okay, Mariah, I know you're hungry, so just go and have something super quick. Um, in fact, there should be leftovers. Go get some leftovers, and then we're going to pop to the shop. There are still pancakes, even. Right, you kids are going to be all right on your own, aren't you, for a, a few hours while I pop to the store. In fact, you know what I might just do? Influence to do homework. Influence to do homework. You kids can get your heads down, knuckle up, buckle up, and do your fucking homework. Buzz okay? Yeah, I think he's all right. He seems fine. Right, we'll tell them to do the homework and then we're going to go to the shop. Travis Scott, man. He's such a needy guy. I'm so glad I kidnapped him with another sim. Literally, he said hello for the welcome wagon and he calls me every fucking day. Get a life. Yeah, we'll say we're strict. I don't mind that. That's fine. Avery, do your homework. Okay, Avery's going to do her homework as well. Perfect. So, oh, there's my sister. She turned up. What, you're going to have to wait? Fucking hell, invite in. You, you can watch the kids then while I pop to the shop because I haven't had the chance yet to go and get some wine. It's just been a crazy day. I've only just finished work. I grab something to eat, help the kids with their homework. Yeah, it says neighbour, but she is actually our sister, Amara. In fact, you know what, Amara? Come with me. Come with. You can help pick out the wine you want. Yeah, see? Not making this up. Sisters. Amara's the younger sister, so she's still hopeful and full of dreams. Right, we'll go to the Oak Barrel Bar. Because I don't even know if the grocery store here, the little rabbit hole, I don't even know if they sell wine. I think they do, but I've never been. So in case they don't sell wine, we'll just grab a glass of vino from the bar. Now where is the little shop? Here it is. Oh, this is a clothes store. Did I just imagine it? I thought there was a grocery store around here. Oh, here we go, here we go. Shop for groceries and goods. Yes, please. Amara, come with. Where is she? I think she might have already just gone to the bar. This is such a cute town. It's, su it's such a shame that it's so dead. There just isn't anything going on here, is there? Oh, pick up the pace, Mariah. Come on. All right, what can we get? Basil, bottle of milk, books. Oh, no. I don't think I can get a bottle of wine. I'll have a laugh. I can't even get a bottle of wine from my local grocery store. Oh, for fuck's sake. Point in having a shop, then. Order drinks for the group. Oh, we will get some grape nectar. Well, I still have some wine at home, so... Although, to be fair, it's glitching out, so I don't even know if I'll be able to pour a few glasses. So maybe... Maybe this has saved me an extra headache. Who knows? Okay, well, is that glass of wine in my inventory? No. All right, Amara, I'll tell you what. Let's just drive back home. Go home. Amara's coming too. We'll watch a movie. Bitch about our... Bitch about our boyfriends. Oh, wait, she's pregnant. She shouldn't be drinking wine anyway. That should have occurred to me a lot sooner than it did, you know. All right, let's watch a movie. We will watch Sims of the Dead with Amara. I'll put my car back on the drive. There we go. Kids are doing their homework quietly. That's what we like to see. What do you think of the film, Amara? Terrifying, huh? Maybe a little inside joke, something only only Amara would get. Yeah. Oh, share big news. Oh, yeah, we should probably tell her that we're knocked up as well. You're going to be an auntie. Again. Maybe we'll wait till the end of the film, though. We'll wait and see if they survive. Oh, this is intense. They're all zombies now. How the hell are they all going to get out of this pickle? Oh, shit. This is like hot fuzz, only it's set in the big city. And with zombies instead of murderers. And with just regular people instead of police officers. This film's actually quite good, you know. It teaches a good lesson in life. If the whole town gets taken over by zombies, just teach them a dance. Kind of looks like the cowpoke dance. Oh, they're doing Thriller, I see, I see. Solve all the town's problems. Huh. Yeah, if you guys haven't watched the movies uh, with this game, you totally should. They're quite good. Interesting. Anyway, Amara, I'm pregnant. Dylan's completed his homework. That's good to know. Why are you, like, horny after watching that, Amara? It's a film about zombies. Okay, great. Both kids have done their homework. Right, you kids, got, you kids need to go to bed now. You've had your fun. You got some time, parent. You've got some time with mum away. You got to play your games. You got to do your homework. Now you've got to go to bed. 
good night. Oh, it looks like we're quite tired as well, actually, and we've got to get up early for work. Oh, wait. I don't think we're at the salon tomorrow, are we? No, we are not at the salon. Tomorrow we're going to be on the road so we can work our own hours. I might try and see two clients tomorrow. Oh, I think you're taking yourself to... You didn't even say goodbye to Amara. You just, just left the living room. Just left for her to figure out that it's time to go. Okay. Well, I suppose I'll just let her hang around until she's ready to show herself out then. She's cleaning up my house as well. Yeah, I think tomorrow we'll get in the car. We'll try and visit just a couple of clients. I think two is enough. You know, when you count the uh, the on-the-road time. And when are we actually having this baby? Second trimester in 30. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to enter into our second trimester, which means probably we'll have this baby on Friday. What's wrong, Buzz? She's craving healthy food, so you can have a fruit salad for breakfast. Dylan has a loose tooth. Oh, not another one. Not another fucking expense. Oh, we should buy a lottery ticket. Purchase lottery ticket, see if we get any luck. Guessing we don't have any bills due. No, but I can see what my bills will cost. About a grand, something like that. Okay, cool, cool. That's fine, that is manageable. I was thinking about one of my favourite toys and can't find it. I'm starting to miss it and I feel sad. Um, It's okay to be sad. There we go. If you're hungry, Dylan, go and get leftovers. Don't just sit there. God, kids, man, they have to be told even just to feed themselves. Right, we'll buy a lottery ticket. We'll see if we win. I've never won the lottery, but you know what? There's nothing nothing more wholesome than good old family gambling. I don't even know how much a lottery ticket is. A hundred simoleons. Oh, well. At least we've participated in the tradition, and that's the main thing. And seeing as we're on the road today, it means we can actually stay home long enough to see the kids off to school, which is nice. In fact, you know what I might do before the kids head off to school? I'm going to do it this way because if I try and get them, I want to get a photo of them in their clothes ready to go to school. But I'm going to use MC Command Center for a little bit of help otherwise. To direct them to change outfit and then get them to stand in a certain place is just going to be impossible. Won't be able to do it before they go to school. So if I get my teleport sim destination, where would be a good, be a good place to take a school photo? Maybe just in front of the house, right? One there, one there, one for mum. And then now, seeing as we've got a bit of money, we don't actually have a camera, but I feel like, you know, capturing family moments is quite important, isn't it? So let's splash out on a nice digital camera. Pop this in my inventory. And we'll get Avery to stand there. Mariah can stand there in her pajamas in the street. And then we will take a photo of Avery. Oh, I know it's not your first day of school, but it, at least it's a picture of you before school. So, you know, some some kind of memory at least. Change up the pose. Something better than that. Oh, there we go. That's lovely. Oh, that one's a bit more sassy. Okay. Okay, so Avery. And then we'll teleport the boy here. Oh, shit, that was the wrong kid. Oh, damn, I clicked it too fast. Be a bit weird if I took a picture of someone else's kid before school. All right, the boy's picture can be taken here. Take a photo of Dylan. Perfect. And at least this way they've got different backgrounds, haven't they? Change up your pose, Dylan. Yeah? Oh, like a little angel. Butter wouldn't melt. Okay, that's my active parenting done for the day. I don't know why other people's kids are coming around to my house before school. I didn't realise I had signed up to be the new, the new town babysitter. But okay, fine. Right, the kids are going off to school. Have fun, guys. Why is the kid still hanging around? Hey, fuck off, kid. Go back to your own house. Oh, there they are, my pride and joy. Framed and put on the side. Right, well, we should probably head off somewhere. So maybe uh, Mariah, maybe get dressed. I don't know how well this is going to work because um, you can't put the all-in-one styling station in your inventory, which is a bit annoying because usually hairdressers... They carry their stuff with them, don't they? So I'm going to have to try and be imaginative here. Seeing as I can't bring my own equipment with me, I'm just going to have to enable free build and place an all-in-one styling station at my client's houses. So the BFF household is my first stop. I think if Summer and Liberty are home, we'll try and do them both. And then I might try and pop somewhere else this afternoon. This wasn't too far of a drive. Knock, knock. Oh, what's wrong? You need the bathroom again? Ah, oh, these pregnancy mood swings, man. Morning, everyone. Morning, morning. Right, first order of business. Go and take a shit. Enable free build. Should we, um, let's maybe do the styling station on the decking, because if we're using hair dye, we don't want it dripping on the carpet, do we? So, gotta think about these things. 
Okay, Liberty. Offer hairstyle to Liberty Lee. Oh, she's got a nice mood buff from traveling by car. Oh, good. I'm glad that investment was worth it because that car was expensive. Oh, oh Mara's calling. I'm, I'm at work, Mara. Been thinking about getting a new job. Um, yeah. Go for it. Go for it. I'm thinking maybe platinum blonde. Really give you a bit of an edge. So how's your day going, Liberty? You know, Liberty, I don't want to break this to you, but I have a feeling that Summer's got her eyes on your man. I don't think she's being entirely honest with you about what's been going on in that... When you've been going out to work. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. You probably know better than I do, but there's definitely... Something definitely smells a bit fishy around here, Liberty. And I don't know what the answer is, but I'm just saying, maybe you should have a word with Travis. Yeah? Maybe check his breath. Don't worry, though, Summer. She hasn't got a scratch on you, Liberty. You're fabulous. Oh, I think we should keep this hair. That's uh, that's a really nice nice hairstyle. Oh, Dylan's saying that I'm a good friend with his sister. What a weird text to send your mum. Okay, Liberty, that'll be a couple hundred simonias, please. You look great. You look great. If you could please just step away from my chair. In fact, you know what? Why not make this day about me? Let's share the big news as well. Try and get as much attention as we can. Where is Summer? Is she not here? Is, is Travis here? No, it's only Liberty that's here. Oh, what a shame. Ah, okay, well, I guess I guess we'll head on to the next house then. I mean, we're... In fact, you know what? It's getting on for lunchtime, so I'm thinking let's just stop somewhere for lunch quickly and then we'll go to our next client's house. And I'm not sure who we're going to see now. But I'm sure we'll see someone. Where would be a great spot for lunch? They always have food stalls in San Myshuno, don't they? Ah, oh, tell you what. How about... Because I need to make over Penny Pizzazz. So why don't I just go to her flat and then go to one of the food stalls outside, grab some lunch, I'll arrive early, get a cheeky quick bit of grub and then we'll make Pizzazz over. Now what do I fancy? Well this place is closed so I guess I may as well... Oh, buy produce. I don't want to buy produce, I want to buy some actual food. Alright, fine. Well, we will um, we'll style up Penny anyway. Oh, I need to introduce myself, don't I? We'll style up Penny and then we'll get some food. She's using the toilet of every single lot she's going to. I think she's telling me she doesn't fancy me, which is completely unnecessary, Penny Pizzazz. You could really do with a brush up of your hair, Penny. Well, just trust me. Take a seat. 160 so much, so I'm making more money going independent than I do at the salon. Isn't that the way it works in real life as well? You either get the security of working in a salon, but make less money because you give a percentage to the salon, or you work independently and make more money. That's how it works, right? But we are doing the best of both, which I think in the real world is not allowed. When are they going to announce the winners? 2am? Find out if I want anything. Oh, that is the perfect look for you, Penny. The Judith Ward glow. Oh, finally, this place is open. Okay, what should we get? Let's get some... Let's get some of this. In fact, I might just try one of everything they sell at that store because then I'll unlock those recipes. And I think Mariah, you know, she's she's a good mum, she's a good cook, she's good at what she does. I think she would be the type who would be interested in learning new recipes. I think she'd, she'd be the kind of sim who would be really happy with like a, a cookbook for Christmas or something like that. Mariah has taken her first step on her culinary journey through the city, eating food from city unlocks the ability to cook it. There are 26 more recipes. Okay. Oh, the kids are home. They're both... They both have bees. Oh, brilliant. Oh, such good kids. Right, and we've seen our two clients for the day. In fact, you know, it's gone three o'clock. We've finished for the day. Let's go home. Seeing as the kids came home with a higher grade, I think we should treat them. Money's not exactly tight, so we can splash out. Maybe we'll order pizza. Just to say, you know, well done. So we'll hug the girl. We'll tell her to do her homework again. Oh, invite to feel baby. Oh yeah, I think we should do that too. We want to make the kids feel like they're involved because we are we are proper showing now, aren't we? She can feel the baby and then influence to do homework. And then the boy, we will, we will also influence to do homework. We'll take the dog for a walk. Ask, in fact, let's ask him what's wrong. Does he want to go for a little walk? What's, what's your issue there, Buzz? Uh, we will go for a short walk just to get him out the house, get him to stretch his legs a little bit, and then when we come back, hopefully the kids will have done their homework and then we can just order pizza or something. What's wrong? You need a shit again. Oh, pregnant Sims, man. You can use the toilet and then we will order a delivery. We'll get a pizza delivery. Let's go for pepperoni. Kids like pepperoni, don't they? 
Oh no, did you just, oh no. We were just a bit too late. Oh, yeah, okay, fine. Have a quick bath. Okay, Dylan's finished his homework and Avery have finished their homework. Okay, good. Right, I think we should, that is a massive puddle. I think we should probably mop that up. Oh, how embarrassing. Maybe if the kids just watch, um, watch the kids network for a bit, you know, kids, keep yourself entertained. Looks like everyone's hygiene is going down the pan a little bit. Oh, pizza's here. Okay, cool. Take the pizza. Why can't you take the pizza? What's your fucking problem? There is literally no reason why you can't take the pizza. Take the pizza. What if I teleport you here then? Now take the pizza. What if I teleport you here then? Now take the pizza. Take the... P oh my god, this fucking sim. Oh, okay. What if I reset this and the pizza's just gone now, isn't it? God damn it. Oh no, here it is. Okay, we got the pizza. Right, everyone, take a slice. Grab a slice of the pizza. Even Buzz is getting a little reward by laying on the couch. What are you doing, Mariah? Oh, you're sitting alone because of the shame. Oh, I understand. Why don't you go take a bubble bath? The pizza person's still there. I, I don't think I actually... I'm not sure if I paid for the pizza or if they're just going to stay there forever now. I don't know. We're all having a late night tonight. Oh, no, the kid smells too. You know what? Take a shower, kid. Take a shower. Take a shower and then go to bed. How's the boy's needs? Oh, he's fine. Just low energy. Okay, cool, cool. I think we should probably give Buzz a bath. I know you're tired, but let's just get him in the bath. Get him cleaned and then we can go to bed. And we're working from home again tomorrow, so you can have a lion if you like. You don't even have to get up to see the kids off. They can take care of themselves. Here we go. Everyone's sleeping. And touch wood, we won't have any monster under the bed issues. Oh, I, d I don't know who won the lottery, though. You didn't show up to claim your pizza, so I charged you 25 Simoleons are left outside for the ants to enjoy. Well, you didn't, dipshit, because I reset you and I got it for myself. Okay, use the toilet and then grab. You know what? We don't need anything too fancy, do we? Just have a quick meal, get some cereal. You know what I might do? Seeing as we're actually ending this video um, tomorrow on Friday, I would like to have some time to bond with this baby. And it feels like this pregnancy has lasted forever. So I might just... I might just put Mariah in labour, just so we can spend a bit more time with this baby. There we go, we're in labour. Oh no, the dog was sick. Oh, we're going to have to take him to the vet. Oh, great, that's another fucking expense. Oh, Buzz. What's going on, buddy? Can maybe one of the kids help with, um, can you clean this up, please? Dylan, would be a good kid for mum. And then obviously get yourself on the school bus. Oh, what a time. Put you in labour just as the dog throws up all over the floor and gets sick. I have to take him to the vet, don't I? Oh, Buzz, wake up. I'm sorry, Buzz. Take to the vet. Oh, no, he was sick again behind the sofa. Oh, come on. Come on. Get in the car. Uh, Dylan, if you wouldn't mind cleaning up this shit as well, please. Come on, Buzz. Come on, we gotta go. Oh, poor little guy. Tell you what, the drama never ends in this house, does it? I know you don't want to go. I know you don't want to go. No one wants to go to the vet, but we got to go. I mean, we're in labour, so we probably want to do this less than you do, Buzz. Signed Buzz in for curing sickness. Bless her. Look how pregnant she is. Poor cow. Right, I think he has to be examined, and then we'll find out what he's actually suffering from. Are you going to go read a magazine or something? He seems, like, genuinely in a really bad way. Oh, I need to wake him up again. Come on, Buzz. That dog's got fleas. Is someone going to check my dog? Okay, finally. I think he's going in to be examined. Right, Mariah, get in here. You need to be in the room while Buzz is being examined because he's probably going to be a bit scared. So you need to come hold his paw for him. Oh, bless her. She, she's, like, trying to breathe through her contractions. Oh, Buzz, we're both in the wars today. Amara's calling. I did it. I got the job. Oh, great. I'm in the middle of something, Amara, but thanks for letting me know. Good for you. Please tell me he's going to be okay. It looks like he's got super duper swamp mouth. Okay, cool. Um, we're going to do expensive treatment because, you know, we love our dog and we can afford it. So we'll get him the best treatment money can buy. I'm not going to mop that up. You can deal with that, Mr. Vet. Oh, okay. He's all better. Great. Do I need to... I think I've already paid my bill, haven't I? All right, then, Buzz. The winner is Michelle Kalani. Yeah, of course it fucking is. It's never me, is it? Mariah is going into labour. But what about... Are we going to take the dog with us? Oh, fucking hell. 
Right, let's just go. Can, can I take the dog? No. Okay, the dog's going to have to get a bus home by himself. I might have to call one of the kids and get them to leave school to pick up the dog. Oh, this is a lot, dealing with all this by myself. Okay, um, check in at front desk. No? You're just going to go straight there? Oh, I guess we're just going to go straight to the... Oh, bus did come with us. Oh, good. Oh, I'm glad. I was a bit worried about how he would get home. Well, Buzz, we went to the dog hospital for you, and now we're at the people hospital for me. So you just make yourself comfortable and try not to shit on the floor. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Mariah has learnt... Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Well, I don't even know this sim anyway, so it means fuck all to me what her job is. Okay, how are we doing? Oh, she's sad that she lost the lottery. Oh, look, Buzz is in the room with me trying to cheer me up. Oh. I don't think he really likes what he's seeing, though. I think he's kind of a bit freaked out. We had a baby girl. We will call her Grace. Okay. Lovely, lovely. Well, we've got a baby. We've got a healthy dog. Thursday's been a little bit more full on than I thought it was going to be. And I actually thought we'd get the chance to see a few clients today. But you know what? I think, I think today we should just count this as a day off, you know? Spend some time bonding with the baby. Make sure Buzz is okay. Okay, the baby's been sent home. So I think, Buzz, you and I, we should probably go home now too. I think we both deserve a nice rest on the sofa, don't you? Oh, he's happy. Oh, bless him. Right, so we're back. Oh, there's still some sick on the floor. Okay, we'll clean that up. Buzz, I think you need to rest up. Put those leftovers in the fridge. Yep, Buzz is on bed rest for the rest of the day. And the baby has popped up in her little nursery. So maybe we'll try and bond with the baby a little bit, make silly face, all that, kiss her forehead. We should probably breastfeed her. We do need to hire a nanny service actually for when we're at work. Annoyingly though, the nanny service is only gonna come when we're when we're working in the salon. They're not gonna turn up for when I work like on the road, so I might just have to call them as and when I need it. Um, should, do we, should, should we feed her? Should we feed her? Yeah, why not? Oh, pain was all worth it in the end, wasn't it, Mariah? Yeah. Are we back in the salon tomorrow? Yeah, back in the salon tomorrow, and I think we might even get a promotion. Is someone congratulating me? In lab, Dylan's science experiment exploded and made a big mess, along with frightening another student. We think he did it on purpose. Ah, uh, let's just, um, apologise to the other student. There we go. Okay, baby's fine. You know what I think we need, Mariah? I think we need some me time, yeah. I think we need a bath with rose petals. You need to take some time and just enjoy your bath before those kids come home, just to make it even more peaceful. I'm gonna get this little CD player right here. We are going to turn on classical music, unless there's like, unless there's like a calming one. Classical's probably the best bet, huh? Yeah, I think we'll do, we'll do classical music. And then we'll also maybe set color and intensity just for this light. Put the dimmer on. There we go. In fact, grab a few candles. There we go, one candle either side. Perfect. And you just enjoy your peaceful candlelit bath with your rose petals and your face mask and just forget everyone else exists just for this next half an hour. Maybe do some breathing exercises. Looks like she's... Looks like she's fallen asleep. Oh, are we done? Okay. Well, there we go. Well, that's all we needed then. Just five minutes of peace. Turn off. Why are you still so pissed off? You've just had a relaxing bath. What could possibly be your problem? Ugh. Oh, I don't know. I tried to help you, Mariah, but we may as well cook something. The kids are going to be home from school soon anyway. And uh, we've just got a new baby. I can't be asked to be worrying about those kids. So, you know what? Let's make that new recipe we've learned. We'll make a party size. You need to check in with yourself, getting so angry. Oh, look, Amara's come over. Maybe she's come to help with the kids or help with the baby. Let her in. Let her in the house. No, don't go to the baby. Let the sister in. She can deal with the baby. Oh, for fuck's sake, Mariah. Just let her in. Okay, now, if the baby's crying, change the diaper, rock the baby, and then resume dinner. Oh, that kid looks like he needs to have a bath. Go and take a bath. Take a bath, do your homework. How's the girl doing? Her needs are fine, so she can just do her homework. Looks like we've got a few, we'll put, the, we've got the baby's birth certificate, so we'll pop that. Looks like the kid brought a drawing home from school, so we'll pop that up. And then she's got, well, she's got her little tooth fairy shit, so maybe I'll put that up in her room 
If I can find space. There's your Tooth Fairy poster. Oh, we've got two. Well, maybe your brother can have one too. And then your little tooth certificate will pop over your bed. Has the boy got anything in his inventory? He does not have a tooth certificate yet. But he also did a drawing, so we'll stick that there. Perfect. All right, uh, call everyone to meal. This is probably going to be a bit spicy for the kids, but you know what? I want to try and build up their palate. I want to give them a, a high-tolerance food palate. So getting used to chopsticks, you'll get there. Practice makes perfect, Mariah. Oh, dear, I think that dish just went straight through you. Well, go and use the bathroom, and then maybe we'll check on the baby. Oh, baby's fine. She's fast asleep. Cool, cool. Kid's uncomfortable from his tooth. Okay, this is Avery's first ever try of spicy food, so I wonder how she's going to feel about it. Oh, was it good, though? Did you like it? No. Knocked her confidence, apparently. <laughs> Practice makes perfect, Avery. Oh, those two having a little hug in the background. That's cute. Well, I'm pretty sure that we are going to get a promotion tomorrow, but I wonder if the kids end up... Oh, they're probably not going to get an A, an a grade, are they? Because they need a skill at level four. Although maybe if they just, like chat to each other that would build up their social skill won't it and then maybe maybe they will get to level four and maybe they'll get an a well needs are pretty good i'm gonna put this bowl in the fridge for later jokesters yeah sure sure they can be jokesters well amara it was great you coming over but um you haven't actually helped with anything you haven't helped with the baby at all so i think it's probably best you just head off and then we'll come check on the baby, make sure babe's okay, maybe she's hungry. So we'll quickly give her a tip and then I think you can get an early night, Mariah. How about the kids? I kind of want them to get the skill level they need. He's almost at level four and so is she. Who's that at the door? Oh, you know, it's too late to have callers at the door. You're going to have to go away. Just send home. Look, you've got the dog barking at the door now. It's all kicking off over here. Oh, Avery's got to social level four. Oh no, the dog has to go. Can I, um, can I get the child to tell him to go? Okay, yeah, I can get the child to tell him to go potty. Let's do that then. Okay, cool. Dylan's at social level four too, so they both have the skills they need to get an A. So let's just check on needs. So Dylan just needs to use the bathroom and then he can go to bed. What about Avery? Oh, she's fine. I may as well just send her to bed now. In fact, I'm not taking any chances. Mariah, spray these monsters under the bed. If you're going to have to get up in the middle of the night, it should only be because of the baby. Kids, come on. It's nine o'clock. Get to bed now. Everyone's got to go to sleep. It's bedtime. I don't think we ever did get round to hiring that nanny, you know. I think we might have to, um, might have to just send the baby to daycare. Oh, no, she needs a nappy change. Oh, come on, Mariah, get up. Oh, Buzz has learned to not wake up Sims. Oh, good. Now I just need him to learn to take himself to the potty. Um, I think we should probably shave. Here we go. Fill up our hygiene need as well. Oh, man, look at all this trash out here. And the kids, they're supposed to be responsible. No one's cleaning up. Baby needs another diaper change. Of course she does. You know what? I'm just going to forget this is my problem and I'm going to go to work. The baby can go to daycare. Why have you gone to work in a hospital gown? <laughs> fuck's sake, Mariah. You, you can't tell arse from elbow right now, can you? Your head is just not in the game. Right, the baby's gone to daycare. Thank fuck for that. We're going to wait outside and get ahead of the game by grabbing the customers as they approach. Yeah, before they even get into the salon. One step ahead. I've noticed we're getting paid more. I think it's because we've increased our cosmetology skill. So I, I was completely wrong about what I said with Sims pay more when you're not at the salon. That was completely wrong. I only got paid more because I'd increased my cosmetology skill. Oh, Dylan got the bus. Great. Avery got the bus. Okay, that's good. That's what we like to see. Jeffrey Landgrab, he definitely needs a makeover. You're looking great, Juniper. Real stylish. Oh, you're going to look great, Jeff. Matching Nancy now with those long locks. We're only giving him, like, female hairstyles. Okay, we've done six out of ten. Yeah, we're going to hit our ten customers easily. This is number seven, I think. Simon Silversweater, I'll come and help you as well. Oh, I think that's a new customer, Chastity. We'll come make over Chastity. Oh, Simon, you look amazing. This is so lucrative. I'm making like over a grand a day in this job. After just a couple hours work. I could come here and work only a couple of hours and then doss off for the rest of the day. Not worry about getting any promotions or anything. 
Because I think the amount of money I earn actually has nothing to do with promotions and it has more to do with my cosmetology skill. I mean, I have like a base rate that I get paid for like per day, but it scratches the surface of what I'm getting paid by the clients for. Well, my performance is in excellent, but I don't have the golden tick, which makes me think that maybe I'm not going to get a promotion today. My work day ends in one hour. What about if I um, introduce myself to a load of stylists? Maybe that could give me a little bump if I'm friendly with my fellow stylists. Well, I'm chatting with all the fellow stylists and it doesn't seem to be making much of an improvement. So I'm starting to think that perhaps actually I'm not going to get a promotion. But I'm so close. Oh, yeah, I did. Mariah has been promoted to intern. She'll now make an additional six simoleons an hour. Oh, brilliant. So we've got work tomorrow. Well, we don't. Mariah does. And I think I'm going to end this video here. This was a pretty pointless video, to be honest. But, you know, not every single video has to have a question that needs to be answered. And today, I just fancied having a bit more of a, you know, mundane family life let's play. This has been fun. I've enjoyed this. And maybe we'll join Mariah again someday. Maybe when the kids are a bit older, going through puberty. Who knows? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.